So in this video, you're going to understand a lot about the contracts where we speak more about the underlying expiry, strike price options and uh, the premium. Okay. And then we speak more about the premium reactions and uh, we speak about the moneyness where we learn a lot about ATM, OTM and in the money options. And options premium has two values. The one is the intrinsic value and extrinsic value. And I will help you to understand why intrinsic value and extrinsic value play a big role. Okay. In strike selections. And then we speak more about Greeks where I discuss about delta, gamma, theta and then implied volatility. And we speak more about single leg strategies, ratio spreads, and direction, non-directional strategies and then other strategies. This is going to be the agenda for the day. And this session is going to be a, a two-hour session. So uh, for all the beginners, I dedicate this particular video. Why? Because uh, I have just given the best because this video uh, contains almost like 190 plus slides. Okay, so you, you can understand now the how much input I have just given on this particular uh, video, as well as uh, I used to ask like questions on all the topics. Okay, so every once I complete with one topic, I will have a questionnaire so that you guys try to answer it on the comment box or you can just post in the live. Okay, so uh, please understand this video will give you the exact in uh, a very in detailed understanding of uh, options trading. And another important thing is this is for the beginners. Okay, so if you are very new to the market, Market, this video will help you a lot a lot a lot a lot okay i'm very much sure about it and uh, happy trading so options is not for everyone it is very uh, it is very difficult but one thing for sure if you understand the basic logics then you can literally make big money out of it okay always try to learn and then implement okay so now, whenever it comes to options, right? So you see something like this, okay? So where we have bank nifty and then we'll have some sort of months, uh, like numbers and month combination. And we have something on few digits and we have CE and then we have some 400 rupees of premium. And, and many of you guys would have been, um, will, will be able to understand these things. But let me just figure it out on a different aspect. So the, the first, comes the bank nifty so bank nifty is the underlying we call it as underlying okay and then we have something like 09 feb 23 which means the 9th february uh, 2023 the expiry okay so all the contracts will have one expiry so that this is the uh, this is the resemblance of the expiry and then we have the strike price okay so each and every op contract will have its own strike price okay so it's not something like uh, the bank nifty we uh, features we buy in options we have different strike prices okay so like that uh, the strike price will be uh, given over here and then followed by ce or pe okay ce means we have the call options or put op pe means put option okay so this is how the uh, contract will be assigned Okay, and we have a premium for all the contracts. Okay, so irrespective of ATM, OTM, or in the money options. Okay, so no need to worry about those things. The, the terminology is what I said. I'm going to explain each and everything very clearly. Okay, so first call option. Okay, so call options are financial contracts that gives the option buyers the rights but not the obligation. Okay, nothing to worry. We just literally skip it because this is not going to help us at any point of time. Okay, so this is my personal definition for call option. Call option is very simple. It's a right to buy or sell. So now it clearly gives you an understanding. You can either buy a call option or you can sell a call option. Okay, so both can be possible and you need to do it on one lot, which means that so always you can you can buy or sell a option in a lot. Okay, you can't do something on one quantity or two quantity. Always you can do it on one lot size. Okay, of the underlying. Okay, so now in our case we have the bank Nifty as underlying, right? Okay, the underlying can be both the stock as well as index. Okay, at an agreed expiry, as I said earlier, so we will have one expiry like we have expiry for all the contracts at agreed expiry, at agreed strike price, at agreed premium. Okay, now it's very simple. If you see something like this, now you are going to buy or sell this particular contract. Now uh, for, on call option, it's a right to buy or sell one lot of bank nifty at agreed 9th February expiry uh, and 41,500 strike price. At what premium you're going to get it? At 400 rupees of premium. Okay, so this is my personal uh, understand, like uh, definition for option, for call options. Okay, so call option can be bought as well as it can be sold. Okay, so now the, this is the bank nifty action and this is the call reaction. Okay, so whenever the market goes up, whenever the market goes up, 
the call option premium also increases. The call option premium also increases. Okay. On this case, what strategy you can deploy? You can deploy a long call. A long call means uh, like where you're going to just buy a call option. Okay. That is what the definition of long call. Long call means you're going to buy a call option. Okay. And how you become, how you make profit out of it? It's very simple. Okay. As the market goes up, call option premium also increases. On that note, if you're buying at 50 rupees, Okay, the call option bought at, at 50 rupees or 100 rupees and uh, all the way as the market goes up, the call option premium also goes up and it goes to 150 premium and it goes to 150 premium. Obviously, you would have made profit out of this trade. Okay, you went long, you bought a call option, right? You went, uh, this is a long call. Okay, and then uh, whenever it comes to bank nifty, uh, whenever the bank nifty is coming down, right? What will happen to the call option? The call option premium will come down. Okay. As the market goes up, call option premium increases. As the market comes down, the call option premium decreases. Okay. On this case, what strategy you can deploy? If you have a bearish view, what strategy you can deploy? It's a short call. It's a short call where you will be selling a call option. Where you will be selling a call option. Okay. Then how you make profit by shorting? You sell it at 150 rupees and you buy it back at 100 rupees. When you buy it back at 100 rupees, so altogether the net profitability is 50 points. The net profitability is 50 points. Okay, so that's good. So now, uh, like we'll directly go to the interaction session, inter interaction tab. Okay, so now uh, those who are watching uh, in live, you can just post your uh, post it in the comment section uh, in the chat box. Okay, and those who are going to watch in offline, so please try to post it on uh, post the answers in the comment section. Okay, what strategy to use when underlying is an uptrend? What strategy to use when the underlying is in uptrend? Okay, so answer is going to be okay. So now uh, we have good number of participants. Okay, so I want each and everyone to address it. Okay, because we have hundreds of questions in this particular video. Okay, because see, like once you are done with a part, and immediately it will follow the questionnaire. Uh, a questionnaire will be there. Okay, so now what happens? You know, once you understand something, uh, you learn something, and then you try to answer it. Immediately you will understand whether you understand the topic or not. Okay, so that you don't need to watch the entire video and then come back to the questionnaire. Okay, once you watch a topic and then you can attend the questionnaire, then you will be in position to, okay, now I can, now I'm ready to move to the next session. Okay, so like that. So what, what strategy uh, to use when underlying is an uptrend? Okay, it's very simple. It's going to be a long call. Okay, super. I, uh, now I see like many people got the answer for even for second question. So what strategy to use when the underlying is in downtrend? It's very simple. Okay, you're going to short a call. Okay, so you can, you, you can do a short call. Okay, that's good. And uh, now in an uptrend, if you buy a call option, will you be in dash? Will you be in dash, whether you'll be in profit or in loss? In an uptrend, if you buy a call option, you will be in dash. Obviously, you are going to be in profit, right? Super. The fourth question. Uh, in an uptrend, if you sell a call option, you will be in dash. Because the market goes up and you shorted a call option. You shorted a call option. And what would be the, what would be the reward you get? You will be rewarded with loss. Okay, that's good. Super, super, super. I can see like good number of participations in the uh, in the comment session. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so now we come with uh, another question. In a downtrend, if you buy a call option, you will be in in a downtrend. See, market is coming down, but you bought a call option at one fifty rupees. And what happens? Obviously, market comes down. The call option premium is also going to come down. So you're going to make a loss. Super, super. In a downtrend, if you sell a call option, you will be in dash. Super. You will be in profit. Okay. So when the market is coming down, the call option premium is going to decrease, right? So on that case, if you have that view of bearish trend, then you can just like that sell a call option and you can make profit out of it. Okay. That's fine. Superb. Superb. Thank you. Thank you. And now, now in put option, you guys are going to be, uh, it's going to be very easy for you guys. Okay. Because you guys answered everything on a very proper note whenever it comes to call options. So now put option is going to be very, very simple for you guys. 
Okay, so as our definition, it's a right to buy or sell one lot of underlying. It can be either a stock or it can be indexed at an agreed expiry and strike price and premium. Okay, so now uh, you can see here, now, what is the only difference over here? Instead of CE, right now we have the PE put option. Okay, so now let me just see the reaction of the put option. Whenever the market comes down, whenever the market comes down, obviously the put option premium increases. The put option premium increases and there is a logic behind it. I will teach you how the how exactly the put option premium increases and what is the logic behind it okay i will explain you those things in the upcoming um in maybe next 15 minutes you can you can understand how market when the market falls how the put option premium is increasing okay there is a math behind it and i will teach you that okay so now we can see here the uh, the bank nifty is coming down and the put option premium increases on this case how you'll make profit by taking a strategy called long put where you are going to buy a put option where you are going to buy a put option okay where you can buy you guys buy it at 100 rupees and you can sell it at 150 rupees you can sell it at 150 rupees so you can just make the a profit by doing so and whenever the market goes up whenever the market goes up the put option premium decreases whenever the market goes up the put option premium decreases and what strategy you can use over here what strategy you can use? You can just use a short put. You can use a short put. By using a short put, like a, what will happen? In short put, you will be selling a put option, right? So you sell it at 150 rupees and you buy it back at 100 rupees. So now the intermediate 50 rupees is going to be on your packet as a profit. Okay. It's going to be in your packet as a profit. Now we come to the interactions tab. What strategy to use when the underlying is an uptrend? What strategy you'll be using when the underlying is in uptrend? Superb. When the underlying is in uptrend, you will be using a short put. You'll be using a short put. And what strategy you use when the underlying is in downtrend? When the underlying is in downtrend, what strategy you'll be using? Okay. Underlying is going to be on the downtrend. Okay, that's good. So it's going to be a long put. It's going to be a long put. The interaction tab, next question is going to be in an uptrend. If you buy a put option, you will be in dash. In an uptrend, if you buy a put option, you will be in loss. You will be in loss okay now in an uptrend if you sell a put option you will be in in an uptrend in an uptrend if you sell a put option you will be in profit okay that's good superb 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 okay in a downtrend if you buy a put option you will be in dash the downtrend if you buy a put option you will be in profit you will be in profit See, I want each and everyone to participate in the in the interaction tab. Okay, so in a downtrend, if you sell a put option, you will be in obviously you'll be in loss because the premium increases and you will be making losses. That's good. Super, super, super. Now we come to the strike and strike difference. Okay, strike and strike difference. So here. You can see, like whenever it's like the current market price of Nifty is at 18,010. Okay. The current market price of Nifty is 18,010. Okay. So now we can see here 18,000 over here and 18,050, 18,100, 18,150. So what are these? So these are the strikes. These are the strikes. Okay. So you can see like there are many strikes. There are many strikes over here. And then what is the strike difference? So what is the gap between the each and every strike? Okay, what is the gap between each and every strike? Okay, so it should be the very immediate strike. It should be the very immediate strike. Okay, so you can see here, 50 is the strike difference. 50 is the strike difference. And what is the strike? So each and every, so 17, 850, 17, 
So each and everything over here is the strike. Everything over here is the strike. And the gap, and the gap between, and the gap between the strikes are known as the strike difference. Okay, the immediate gap between the strikes is known as the strike difference. Let's go. And now in this case of Bank Nifty, the current market price is 42,000. The current market price is 42,000. Okay, on this aspect, now let me just ask you something. Okay, 41,800 is a strike or strike difference. 41,800 is a strike or a strike difference. Okay, it's a strike, exactly. And the difference between the strikes, the difference between the two strikes is known as the strike difference. It's the strike difference. And just notice one thing, the for Nifty, if the 50 is the strike difference, for Nifty, if the strike difference is 50, you can see the equal interval between two strikes, the equal interval. So you can see like 50 points difference over here, 50 points difference over here, 50 points difference over here. The strike difference is common for all the strikes, but for different underlying, the strike difference will be different. For different underlying, for Nifty, we had 50. For Bank Nifty, we had it as 100. Okay, for Bank Nifty, we have it as 100. For Bank Nifty, we have it as 100. Okay, and we'll just take it one for Asian Paints. And Asian Paints is a stock, and you can see here for Asian Paints, the strike difference is what? The strike difference is what? It's 20. Okay. For each and every individual underlying, we will have a dedicated strike difference. We will have a dedicated strike difference. Okay. And see, like, uh, it can be, see, like, each and every script will have its own strike difference. So, it does not mean, say, it does not mean that Bank Nifty, if it is having 100 points as strike difference, it does not mean, like, all the strikes will, all this underlying will have the uh, 100 as the strike difference okay so uh, there will be like lot of difference okay so uh, for each and every individual uh, underlying will have its own strike difference will have its own strike difference and now let me just come back to the interactive session now uh, see like now from, from now onwards the questions will be quite uh, tricky Okay, so earlier you guys understood uh, things very clearly because it was very easy questions. From here onwards, I would have just changed a few words in order to confuse you. Okay, so now it's your turn to answer it in a very proper way. The strike difference will be common for all stocks and indexes. The strike difference will be common. Obviously, your answer is going to be no, right? Superb. Okay, so it's not going to be common. Okay, the strike difference will be common between all strikes of a stock or index. The strike difference will be common for all strikes for a stock and index. Yes. Okay. So the strike difference will be common. The strike difference will be common for a stock as well as an index. Okay. The next. What is strike difference? Or what is the strike difference for Nifty? Nifty, the strike difference is how much points? 50. And for bank nifty, and for bank nifty, it is 100. Superb, superb, superb. And now we have the contracts. Okay. So earlier, you guys would have been confused. Okay. Why did we have this in the top, the same number, the bottom, we have the same number. See, whenever it comes to a strike price, right? Whenever it comes to a strike price, we will have uh, like a, we have just, just, you know, let me just come back. Okay. So now, uh, whenever it comes to strike price, we'll we we'll, like we'll have something call and put, right? Okay. So now you can see here. So along with the strike, we have CE and PE. Okay. So each and every strike. Okay. If we call it as eighteen thousand, eighteen thousand will have both call and put. It does not mean eighteen thousand will have only call, or eighteen thousand will have only put. No, it's not like that. Eighteen thousand will strike will have both the call option and put option. Eighteen thousand will have both the call option and put option. And like that, 18,100 will also have call option, put option. And each and every strike will have both the call option and the put option. Both the call option and the put option. Okay. 
so like it's not only for the uh, bank nifty or nifty so for each and every stocks or every underlying we will for each and every strike we will have both the call and then put okay now the call is denoted by what call options is denoted by what okay it's denoted by c it's denoted by c okay so what put option is denoted by put option is denoted by Pop. So, but many many guys would think that why did is asking such a small question okay so now no, no need to worry so each and everyone is not common okay so uh, many people are from the base right so uh, it's always mandate to teach them okay so no need to worry like going forward you will find something interesting okay whenever, whenever it comes to delta okay those are those are on the intermediate or on the top level so please, please, please just wait for a few more minutes so that you can just, uh, once the uh, once the Greeks come into picture, it will be more interesting. Okay. So we have the CE, PE. Oh, what, does, uh, what is the full form of CE and PE? What is the full form of CE and PE? Now let me just check how many of you know this answer. Because I, like everyone, when, when it comes to CE, they will say, they say it is a call. When we say P, they see they will tell put option. But what does this E denotes? Okay, see, so like the E denotes the European. Okay, it's a European. So call European, put European. Okay, why why does European see like we have like two types of options? Okay, the one is call uh, call American and call European. Okay, so uh, like there are two standards of using call, uh, using of options. One is the European standard and the other one is the American standard. So on this aspect, like we, in India, we are using European standard. So on that case, this we use CE, which is denoted by, which is known as call European and PE is the put European. Okay, that's good. So now, whenever, now we come, it comes to the expiry. Okay, so whenever it comes to expiry, we have like two types of expiry. One is a weekly expiry and there is a monthly expiry. Okay, now, now don't come up with some, some new one. Bi-weekly expiry, bi-monthly expiry, quarterly expiry, yearly expiry. Okay, all those expiry will come under only two conditions. Either it will be a weekly expiry or it will be a monthly expiry. Okay, so leap year expiry. Don't, don't take everything into picture. We'll just consider only two expiries. One is a weekly expiry and other one is a monthly expiry okay so when this weekly expiry will happen the weekly expiry will happen on every week of thursday okay every week oh, sorry every week thursday we will have the weekly expiry on the last the, uh, on the month okay the the last thursday of the month will be the monthly expiry last thursday of a month will be a monthly expiry and uh, the image on a weekly expiry the every week thursday uh, it will be every week Thursday will be the expiry for uh, on the weekly options. Okay, so now there, there arrives a question. Okay, so now it is changed the weekly expiry for Bank Nifty is changed to Thursday. Okay, see no need to no need to confuse. Okay, so sorry the Bank Nifty expiry will be changed to Friday. No, uh, like maybe like um, we got a circular from NSE stating that the weekly expiry of Bank Nifty will be postponed to Friday. But the same has been revised and uh, they said no changes will happen on the weekly expiry. No changes will happen on weekly expiry the bank nifty ex for, for bank nifty. For bank nifty, the expiry will be on Thursday only. Okay, so there is no change. Okay, so no need to confuse. Uh, the, the, the early circular was literally uh, taken back. Okay, so uh, no need to worry about it. So, uh, it's going to be on Thursday. The bank Nifty experience are going to be Thursday and Nifty experience also going to be on Thursday. And now there comes a, another concern. Okay, we have this Fin Nifty. So Fin Nifty expiry is going to be on, the Fin Nifty expiry is going to be on every Tuesday. It's going to be on every Tuesday. And as, as you see over here, for Nifty, it is going to be on Thursday. It's going to be on Thursday. And then for Bank Nifty also, it is going to be on Thursday. Okay. And now let me just go 
to Asian paints. Okay, so what about Asian paints? Do we have monthly expiry or weekly expiry only? Okay, here for, for stocks, we don't have any so anything known as weekly expiry. We have only monthly expiry and that will be on the last Thursday of the month. Last Thursday of the month. Okay, so that's fine. So uh, now let me just go to the interaction session. Okay, so Nifty and Bank Nifty has dash expiry. It has only the weekly expiry or it has the monthly expiry or both weekly and monthly expiry. Okay, it's going to be both. Okay, Nifty and Bank Nifty will have both the weekly expiry as well as the monthly expiry. Okay, now stock has dash expiry, weekly or monthly. Stocks have dash expiry, weekly or monthly. Monthly expiry, that's good. Thank you. And in the if Thursday is a trading holiday, expiry will be or will be postponed or prepondered. Okay. See, we said the expiry for Bank Nifty is on Thursday, right? Okay. On that aspect, if Thursday is a holiday, whether the expiry will be prepondered or postponed. It will be pre-pondered. So on this case, if Thursday is a holiday, so we will have it on Wednesday. Okay, now my question is, if Wednesday and Thursday both are holidays, if Wednesday and Thursday both are holidays, so when will be the expiry? It will be on Tuesday. It will be on Tuesday. That's good. Superb, superb. Okay, next. If Thursday is a trading holiday, then expiry will be on dash day. If Thursday is a it's a trading holiday, the expiry will be on Wednesday. Okay, that's good. And now we come to the very important part, moneyness. Okay, see from now onwards, you guys need to take your two ears and sit very calmly. See, just take a paper or pen and start making notes of it. Okay, from now onwards, from now onwards, it's going to be like more more crazy. Okay, because I'm going to give lots of insights. Okay, because with the help of ATM, OTM in the money, if you understand these three concepts, then only you can understand about the intrinsic value, extrinsic value. Then only you can understand the essence of delta, theta, gamma, and implied volatility. Okay, so everything, okay, everything will have uh, will have to be addressed only with the help of ATM, OTM and in the money options. Okay, so this is going to be very, very important. Okay, so now Nifty is trading at 18,000, 18,010. Okay, so now which strike price is near to 18,010? Which strike price is near to 18,010? Come on guys, type your answers in chat box. 18,000 strike is near to 18,000 strike is near to the current market price. So now this strike 18,000 is known as ATM. Okay, the, 80, the 18,000 strike will have both call as well as put. So on this case, on this case, both the call option and put option. Okay, 18,000 call option and 18,000 put option is ATM. Okay, on call side, what is the ATM? On call side, what is the ATM? 18,000 call option is ATM. On put side, 18,000 put option is the ATM. Okay, so ATM is, it, the, the definition is very simple. The strike price, which are at the current market price, are near, very near to the current market price is known as ATM. It's very simple. So we know the current market price is at 18,010. So which strike price is near? I'm very sure 18,050 is going to be quite far. And 17,950 is also quite far. The very nearest is the 18,000. On that aspect, we say 18,000 call and put is the 18. Now we come back to the bank nifty. See, 42,030. 42,030. So which strike price is near? Which strike price is near? Okay, so Sachin says it's 42,000. Melvin says 42,000. Silesh says 42,000. Good. So 42,000 call option and 42,000 put option or the ATM on bank nifty, on bank nifty. Now in Asian paint, 
we have 2765. So now you guys tell me what is the strike price which is at ATM? What is the strike price which is at ATM? So it's going to be 2760. It's going to be 2760 as an ATM. Good, 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 superb. Okay, so now let me just understand about the OTM. Okay, now we you guys understood about ATM. So ATM is very simple. Whichever, whichever is near to the current market price, we call it as ATM. So OTM are something which is yet to be attained. Mark this word, yet to be attained. Okay, so now let me just ask you, market is currently trading at 18,000. Okay, 18,010. So 18,050, market needs to go there, right? Uh, hence, it's a call option. Okay, market needs to travel over there. Market needs to travel over there hereafter only. Okay, from 18,000, it need to travel to 18,050. And 18,050, it need to travel to 18,100. So it's a, like hereafter only, the price need to go over there. Okay, hereafter only, the price need to go over there. Okay, on the aspect of put option, just imagine, the market is currently trading at 18,000. So hereafter only the market need to cover the 17,950, 17,900, 17,850. Am I right? On this aspect, it clearly denotes that the strike price which are yet to be attained, which are yet to be attained are known as out of the money. Are known as out of the money. Are known as out of the money. Okay. So now, in bank nifty, it's similar. Market is trading at 42,000. And you guys know very well, market needs to go to 42,100 and then 200 and then 300. Okay. And in the put side, it's very simple. Market needs to come down, right, in order to attain it. So here in this case, 41,900, 41,800, 700 are yet to be attained. Are yet to be attained. Okay, good. So now let me just go to, go to the chat box. Okay, so now you guys let me know the strike price which are to be attained. Okay, so now we, so, sorry, we'll just take on the in the money as well. Okay, so you guys can, uh, you guys literally know the market is trading at 18,100 means 17,950 is already attained, right? Already the price has crossed 17,950. And definitely, this it has crossed 17,900 as well as 17,850 also it has crossed. Okay. So, it is already in the money. It's already in the money. So, already the strikes which are attained, right? So, they are known as, they are known as in the money options. On the same as put side, 18,050, 18,100 and 18,150 already attained. Already they have attained. The price came from 150. 200 and from 100 to 50 and then right now it's trading at 18,000. Okay. So this clearly denotes that these are the strike price which are in the money options. Okay. So now so now let me just understand uh, from the infraction tab. Did you guys understand it in a proper way or not? Okay. So if you guys find something not okay uh, like if you, if you find something if you, uh, you just uh, made some wrong answers, please try to watch this ATM, OTM and in the money once again, so that you can understand it in a very clear way. Okay. So the current market price is at 42,200. So 41,800 call option is what? It's going to be what? In the money options? If so, yes or no. If so, just say is yes or no. Obviously, it's going to be yes. Because See, the market is right now trading at 42,200 and already the price has attained 41,800 and from there only it went to 900 and 42,000, 42,200, 42,200 right now it is trading. So, which clearly denotes that 41,800 call option is in the money options. The answer is true. Now, the second question. Current market price is at 42,200. 41,800 put option is in the money. Come on guys, say your answers. It's false. It's false. It's not an in the money option. It is an OTM because the market is at 42,200 and hereafter only it need to attain 
and then it need to come to 41,800, which means that it is a OTM option and it is not an in the money option. So answer is going to be false. Let's go. Now, 42,200 is the, uh, the current market price. And 42,200 put option, mark this word, put option is an ATM or not? It's an ATM or not? Yes, it is an ATM. It is an ATM. Even if it is called, then it is also an ATM. Okay, I will have too many questions for ATM, OTM, and in the money options because once you understand this, then only you will be able to take it forward. Okay, that's fine. So 42,200 is the current market price. And uh, 42,200 call is an ATM? Yes, obviously it's going to be an ATM. It's going to be an ATM. And now in this case, current market price is 42,200. And 41,800 put option is what? I say it is like, uh, it's true or false. So, so obviously, see the current market price is quite higher. It's going to be an OTM. Good, 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 good. Okay. Now the question is current market price is 42,200. 41,800 call is an OTM or not? Now let me just see, check how many of you are correct. Okay, it's going to be false. It's going to be false because this is an this is an in the money option because already price has cost 4800, right? And right now it is already trading at 42200. Okay, now we come to the very, very, very important part. Okay, so now from uh, ATM, OTM in the money, we came to the next step, the premium. The premium. Okay, so like whatever the premium you buy, right? The premium will have two values. The intrinsic value and extrinsic value. How many of you know these things? Intrinsic value and extrinsic value. Let me just get some uh, yes or no in the chat box. So that I can understand. How many of you literally under, uh, know about this intrinsic value and extrinsic value? Okay, so I think so. That, there are too many no's. Okay, superb. And now you guys are quite gifted. To be honest, you guys are literally gifted. Okay, so, uh, so those who say no, this session is going to be something very, very important for your entire career on options trading. Okay. So uh, the premium always consists of two things, the intrinsic value and an extrinsic value. The extrinsic value is something uh, which is a combination of time value. That's what we call it as theta and then implied volatility and then implied volatility. Okay. So as for, for the time being, you guys understand one thing very clearly, ATM and OTM at the money options and out of the money options will have only extrinsic value. Will have only the extrinsic value. And the in the money options, ITM, the in the money options will have both the intrinsic value as well as extrinsic value. The in the money options will have both the intrinsic value as well as extrinsic value. Okay, so time being you guys understand this, ATM, OTM will have only extrinsic value. Uh, in the money will have both intrinsic as well as extrinsic value. Okay, so now, here you see guys, ATM is 42,000. Okay, yeah. ATM is 42,000. And uh, 41,900 call option is 100 points in the money. It's 100 points in the money because the currently the market is trading at 42,000, right? So 14,800 should be 200 points in the money. Okay. And 700 means it is 300 points in the money. So what it means, see, already the price has traveled 300 points from this particular strike. The strike, the, the, the market has traveled 300 points from this particular strike. Okay. But this particular strike price is 300 points in the money. So the premium of this particular strike price should be 300 only, should be 300 only. But why it is, why it is sold or bought it or bought at the level of 540? See, the in the money of this particular strike price is 300 points. Already the market has traveled 300 points. 
and we have something remaining right on the premium the 240 points the 240 points what it is there is something some some logic behind it right okay now you guys are going to understand it now you guys are going to understand it okay now see here so this is a graphical understanding of uh, things as i said earlier atm atm will have only the extrinsic value atm will have only the extrinsic value the 390 points is a extrinsic value okay so now you can see here uh, 41900 is it's trading at 440 but on this 440 only 100 points is the value at the at, uh, the value point is only 100 over here it's 200 over here is 300 so now we can see here as we go deep in the money as we go deep in the money the intrinsic value increases or decreases as we go deep in the money the intrinsic value increases or decreases come on guys type your answers in chat box okay increases super super okay so this is uh, this is at some point maybe like we just take it at uh, wednesday wednesday this is how it is designed wednesday how it is and at expiry at expiry on thursday okay bank nifty expires on thursday and now what happens you know this for 540 rupees of premium the final 40 rupees of premium will come to 300 will come to 300 and this 490 comes to 200 and 440 comes to 100 and this 390 comes to zero this 390 comes to zero now you guys let me know what happened to the remaining 390 over here the remaining 340 over here and the remaining 290 over here and the remaining 240 over here what happened what happened it literally vanished it literally vanished okay why it vanished so whenever it comes to option premium right okay when it goes to seller <laughs> obviously it goes to seller see the extrinsic value the extrinsic value what we seen over here at the atm and otm will become zero at expiry will become zero at expiry see on friday if the value is 200 rupees of extrinsic value and 100 rupees of intrinsic value on thursday at expiry what happens you know the 200 premium extrinsic value will be will become diluted and it will come to zero it will come to zero and only we will have the intrinsic value at expiry we will have only the intrinsic value at expiry okay so now you, you would have understood very clearly atm has what value extrinsic value or intrinsic value atm has extrinsic value or intrinsic value come on guys type your answers in chat box okay atm has only the extrinsic value atm has only the extrinsic value and that's what i said over here atm and otm has only the extrinsic value okay so now this 390 rupees at expiry what will happen this 390 rupees at expiry what will happen if the expiry is going to be at 42000 what will happen this will become zero altogether this will become zero okay so now And that's what happens over here. This 440 rupees of premium now come to 100. Because the extrinsic value what you've seen over here, this extrinsic value what you've seen over here has become zero at expiry. Has become zero at expiry. Only the intrinsic value is there. Okay. So now you can see the 390 rupees of premium. Only the, the extrinsic value is the 390 rupees. On this 440 rupees of premium, only 100 belongs to intrinsic value. On this 490, only 200 belongs to intrinsic value. The remaining 290 becomes to, becomes to extrinsic value. 
240 over here and 300 over here. So this clearly denotes that even though you bought a call option or put option, if it is not going in your direction, obviously you're going to make loss. Even though it goes in your direction, even though it goes in your direction, it need to be more than the intrinsic value, the premium what you paid, right? On that aspect, the intrinsic value should be more than the premium what you paid. Then only you can make profit out of option buying. And that is very, very, very difficult. Okay, now you can understand, even though the market goes on your direction, you would have bought a call option, market would have went up, but still you will be in loss. But still you will be in loss. What is the reason behind it? Now you guys let me know. What is the reason behind it? Whether it's an intrinsic value or an extrinsic value. Come on, guys, type your answers in the chat box. Even though the market goes in your direction, you have bought a call option, market goes up, but still you make loss. It's because of what? Intrinsic value or extrinsic value? Because extrinsic value is playing a big role on your MPM. <laughs> okay, that's fine. So now uh, how we calculate this intrinsic value and extrinsic value, it's going to be very, very simple. And from this slide itself, you guys would understand how to calculate it. Okay, so it's something very simple. I'm not going to, to waste too much of time on this. Okay, so intrinsic value, how we calculate current market price minus in the money strike price. Okay, and then uh, extrinsic value is going to be calculated by premium minus intrinsic value. Okay, so it's very simple. See, the current market price is at 42,010. And the strike price is 41,600 call option. Okay. First and foremost thing, what you need to check is 41,600 call option is a in the money or out of the money or ATM. That is what you need to check. And it clearly denotes that it is an in the money options. Okay. On this aspect, like uh, you're going to separate both and it's going to be 410. The intrinsic value is 410. And the premium right now, it's trading at 610. So 610 minus 410 is going to be the extrinsic value. 610 minus 410 is going to be the extrinsic value. It's very simple. It's very simple logic. Okay. And for put option, how we calculate? Intense, uh, the in the money strike price minus current market price. It's going to be very simple. So uh, first we are going to check whether this is an in the money option or not. 42,010 is the current market price. 42,400 is the 42,400 is the put option. Okay, and it is a in the money option because the price all the way, the 42,400 is already attained strike, right? So already attained. So uh, now we just subtract both. So which is 390 rupees. That's what the intrinsic value is. And the premium is right now at 620. So you just subtract both and you will get the extrinsic value, which is the 230 premium. Extrinsic value, which is the 230 premium. Okay. So now you guys let me know um atm sorry otm out of the money options has only the orange color denotes the what extrinsic value is yes or no true or false true or false otm has only the extrinsic value or okay it has only the extrinsic value too in the money options in the money options will have only the extrinsic value False, 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 false. Because in the money options will have both the intrinsic value as well as extrinsic value. Okay, ATM. ATM will have what? Only the extrinsic value or the intrinsic value? Exactly, it's going to be true. Okay, ATM is going to have only the, going to have only the extrinsic value. Now we guys tell me. OTM. True or false, in the money, true or false, ATM, true or false. Come on, guys. Superb. So, we have said that OTM, it's false because OTM has only the extrinsic value. It does not have both the intrinsic as well as extrinsic. In the money, it is true. Here, we have both the intrinsic value as well as extrinsic value. And for ATM, we have only the extrinsic value. We don't have both intrinsic as well as extrinsic value. That's good. Super, super, super. Okay, as the stock moves deep in the money, the extrinsic value will increase. 
come on guys now let me know as the stock moves deep in the money the extrinsic value will increase or not it's going to be true or false it's going to be false actually it decreases as we go deep in the money the extrinsic value will decrease okay as the stock moves deep in the money the intrinsic value increases as we go deep in the money the intrinsic value increases obviously is yes. as we go deep in the money the intrinsic value will increase the extrinsic value will decrease good and now op option premium at expiry okay at expiry we will have both the intrinsic value and extrinsic value is it true or false this is how it looks like okay i want everyone to participate in this quiz it's going to be false it's going to be false because at expiry we will not have any extrinsic value which is present we will not have any extrinsic value which is present okay all we have is only the intrinsic value at expiry okay now this is true or false come on guys type your answers in the chat box fast 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 the option premium at expiry this is true or false yes it is true it is true good now you guys are going to calculate the intrinsic value now you guys are going to calculate the intrinsic value come on guys make it fast okay it's going to be the answer is going to be, okay i got one answer what is the intrinsic value come on guys calculate it quite fast 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 everyone got stuck what happened to everyone let me just check the question is tricky let me just give you a guess also the question is tricky okay many people say aha uh -huh. oh, i am getting two two different answers too many different answers 520 300 400 980 180 200 400 20 what is the intrinsic value what is the intrinsic value oh my god i'm getting two two different answers okay just read the question once again just read the question once again you will understand okay i'm getting 24 400 400, 400 no 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 how come how come it will be see the premium itself is only 220 how you guys go to 400 what is the intrinsic value now i got intrinsic value as 200 extrinsic value 20 how come read the question read the question carefully it's it's very shocking for me till now i have not got the exact answer One eighty, one eighty, one eighty. Now I go. I'm getting answer one eighty, one eighty, one eighty. Oh, superb, Krishna Mohan. Thank you for giving giving me the right answer after a long, long struggle. <laughs> okay, so see, it's very clear. First, we need to check whether it's an in the money option or not. Okay, on this case. current market price is at 37600 the current market price is at 37600 and 38000 call option is an atm or otm or in the money options it's a atm or otm or in the money option come on guys type your answers in the chat box it's a otm on that otm case how you will calculate the intrinsic value 
because otm has only the extrinsic value the otm is has only the extrinsic value we don't have any intrinsic value for otm so now tell me what is the intrinsic value now what tell me what is the intrinsic value now the intrinsic value is zero now the intrinsic value is zero okay so what is the extrinsic value what is the extrinsic value okay it's going to be 220 it's going to be 220 okay hope you guys understand it right okay so you you guys okay so now let me just ask you a question so now you guys are going to rate rate today's session okay out of 10 how much you give me till now based on the learning what you had how much you're going to rate it <laughs> okay 10 9 10 9 10 9 10 10 10 10 10 10 out of 10 <laughs> thank you now i'm very sure those nine or whoever gave given me nine right so then upcoming upcoming uh, next 30 minutes you guys are going to give me 10 out of 10 okay because we are going to have something more more interesting in the next slides okay so now you guys are going to calculate me the intrinsic value and extrinsic value come on guys type it type it type it fast yeah yeah the today's session uh, the recording will be uploaded in our youtube channel okay so uh, i'm just sending you the link of youtube channel you can just join over there Okay, the past sessions videos also uploaded over there. You can just have a view. Okay, so what is the intrinsic value? Come on, guys, calculate the intrinsic value and then the extrinsic value. Superb. Now Vasanta Raj have given me the answer. Okay, he's the first one to give. Okay, it's good, good, good. So or like we have uh, that um, that bin. I see he's the first. Okay. So 340 is intrinsic value. No. The intrinsic value is 100. Okay. Now we can see the difference between over here is the 100. So 100 will be the intrinsic value. The extrinsic value will be 340. The extrinsic value will be 340. Okay. The extrinsic value will be 340. Intrinsic value will be 100. Extrinsic value will be 340. Super good, 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 good. Nice, nice. Okay, I, I don't think so. Like too many questions are required, so we can move on. Now, whenever it comes to options premium or options trading, many people used to say delta, gamma, theta, implied volatility, and see like it is. It is very clear. It is very clear. Like we have like many things like delta, gamma, theta, imperial volatility, but those things are literally very hard to understand. Okay, so on that aspect, on that aspect, I'm going to make it very simple. Even a school kid can understand delta, gamma, theta, and imperial volatility. Okay, how many of you thought that these four things are literally very hard to understand and no one can explain it very simply? Okay, how many of you have uh, uh, like felt so bad about these four, ca four characters of options trading? Yes, very hard. <laughs> okay. No, so like I'm going to make it very simple. Okay, so next 30 minutes is going to be something more fun-filled. Okay, and you will definitely enjoy uh, the teaching about delta, gamma, theta, and imperial volatility. Okay, first let me just start with the delta. Okay, the delta is nothing but the rate of change of option premium based on one point of move in the underlying. Okay, how many of you thought? How many of you thought, okay, so market, how this option premiums are increasing? How this option premium are increasing? Okay, so uh, if, if, if the market moves 10 points or if the market moves 100 points, my strike price, uh, the strike price which you have selected, it moves only 10 points or sometimes it moves only 100 points. If it's like, if, if there is a 200 points of move in the underlying, your option strike moves only 100 points. And what is the reason behind it? And here comes the answer, delta. See, delta is one of the very, very important aspect whenever it comes to options, option pricing. Okay, so delta governs everything. Delta 
governs everything. Okay, so now how the delta ranges from? The delta ranges from negative 1 to positive 1. The delta wave ranges from negative 1 to positive 1. Okay, so now the rate of change of option premium based on one point of move in the underlying okay so that is what i said related to delta and you can see the put option premium will have a delta of zero to negative one or negative one to zero negative one to zero the call option will have the value from zero to plus one zero to plus one okay so in this in this i i clearly explained the delta has the value ranging from negative one to positive one on this negative one to positive one call option carries the zero to plus one zero to plus one which clearly means that clearly means that the positive delta are taken from call side the negative delta is in the put side the negative delta is in the put side okay negative one to zero now now you guys tell me the call option delta ranges from what to what the call option premium ranges from what to what? Okay. Superb. 0 to plus 1. 0 to plus 1. Good. Put option delta ranges from what? Put option premium. So put option delta ranges from what to what? Good. It ranges from negative 1 to 0. Negative 1 to 0. Now, in that, in that call option premium, it's we clearly mentioned that it has a value from 0 to plus 1, right? All the positive values are taken by the call options. On that, ATM, on that, ATM will have the 0.5 delta positive 0.5 delta okay it will have the positive 0.5 delta okay and the otm will have from from positive 1.5 to the, the the gap between point uh, point 0.5 to 0 will be otm and from point 0.5 to 1 will be taken by in the money options will be taken by in the money options okay so ATM will have a 0.5 delta. ATM will have 0.5 delta. And OTM will, will be having the delta between 0 to 0.49. And from 0.51 to plus 1, the delta will be, the in the money will take the deltas. Okay. So now, don't worry. If you don't understand these things, I will explain it in a very clear way. Okay. And similarly, put option, you can see, negative 0 0.5 will be taken by the put option ATM and in the money will be taking from 0 0.51 to 0 0.51 to minus 1, minus 1 and the OTM will take it from 0 to minus 0 0.45, minus 0 0.45. Okay, now the interaction tab, now you guys are going to answer me. What is the delta of 37500 call option. Market is right now trading at 37500. First, you need to select whether it's an ATM or OTM, and then you're going to answer me. And then you're going to answer me. From now onwards, it's going to be quite, quite, quite tough. The questionnaires will be getting more tougher. Okay, see, like I have designed this uh, entire PPT in such a way. We we take it from the bottom level from call options and we just move slightly up, 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 up. Okay, that's good. Okay, that's good. So it's going to be 0 0.5, 0 0.5, not 0 0.05. Okay, answer is going to be B. Okay, now, now we have the current market price at 37,500 and 37,500 put option we have. Okay, so 35,000 put option. So now you guys are going to answer me whether it's going to be A, the answer is going to be A or B. 
it's going to be negative 0 0.5 negative 0 0.5 that's good i can see something uh, very interesting because many everyone is answering on a answer is correct okay now market is trading at 37500 37700 put option 37700 put option will have the pre uh, uh, delta value between minus or plus 0 0.5 to plus 1 or 0 0.5 negative side to negative 1 point or negative 1. Okay, your answer is going to be B. The going, answer is going to be B. Superb, superb. I can see a like, good number of answers. Like everyone is answering in the, uh, every answer is correct. I'm really happy. Okay, so what is the delta value of 37700 call option? 37700 call option. Whether it's going to be A or B or C. Okay. Read the question properly. Okay. Read the question properly and address, and address it. Read the, now I got too many too many wrong answers. Okay, type, type uh, take your time, take your time, understand it. Okay, so C, 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 C. Good. So, um, it's, you can just see one thing very clear. 37700 call option is a OTM. It's a OTM. So, that it will have the delta value on positive side from 0 0.4920. 0. Okay, on that aspect, we don't have something on that numbers. Okay, so we have something for the in the money on uh, call side and in the money on the put side but we don't have something on the otm right so it clearly says that the answer is going to be none of the above okay it's going to be none of the above okay now now it's your turn come on guys Okay, so now uh, current market price is at 37,500. What is the delta value of 38,000 call? So first and foremost thing, it is an OTM option. It is an OTM option and the values will be between 0 to 0 0.5. The answer is going to be B. Super, good. So now, okay, so you guys know that market goes up. Call option premium increases. Market goes up. Call option premium increases. Okay. So how these things happen? How these things happen? Market comes down. Call option premium decreases. What is the math behind it? You guys are going to understand it. You guys are going to understand it. So now, as, uh, like, as well as whenever the market goes up, put option premium decreases. As well as the market goes down, put option premium increases. What is the logic behind it? During the start of the session, I asked this question. Okay. So first, let me just understand for the call side. Okay. The, as we know, the delta, delta is the rate of change of option premium. Delta is known as the rate of change of option premium based on one point of move. You see, if the underlying moves one point, how much premium need to be increased? Okay, that is the base work is done by delta. The base work is done by delta. Okay, now I put it very simple. ATM delta has 0 0.5. Okay, so ATM delta has a zero point, positive 0 0.5 as the delta value. Underlying has moved 100 points. 
underlying has moved 100 points. So right, right now in this case, we take Bank Nifty. So Bank Nifty has moved 100 points. The price change, how much price will, will happen, like how much changes on the price will happen? So it's going to be delta into the underlying movement. Okay, so you bought it at 100 rupees. You bought it at 100 rupees. Okay, so you, you, bought, the, you bought it at 150 rupees. Okay, you bought it at 150 rupees. Now you can see here the delta is how much? 0 0.5. Okay, for, for ATM and the underlying movement is and the underlying movement is 100. So 100 into 0.5 is going to be what? 100 into 0.5 is going to be positive 0.5. Sorry, it's going to be positive 50 points. It's going to be positive 50 points. So if the ATM is at 100, 150 premium, after the 100 points of move, it would have gained how much points? It would have gained 50 points and it is totally governed by the delta value and it is totally governed by the delta value. Okay. So now let me just take another example. OTM will have a delta value of 0 0.25. Okay. So on the same aspect, like uh, I have bought one ATM, which has moved for the 100 points of move, it has moved 50 points. But the OTM with delta value of 0.25 a 0.25 of delta. Okay, so how much price would have changed? How much price would have changed? It's going to be the delta value into the 100 points. So delta value is 0 0.25 and 100 points of move is going to be 25 points. So now the 50 rupees of premium for this 100 points of move will increase by 25 points. Will increase by 25 points. Okay, so now you guys are going to calculate me what will be the close value. Okay, it's an ATM. Okay, we have bought an ATM at 150 rupees. The underlying has moved positive 200 points. Positive 200 points. Now, what will be the price? What will be the close price? Come on, guys, calculate it for me. If you understand this, you have literally understood how the option premiums are. Uh, increasing and decreasing and how to select your strike. Okay, so it clearly denotes that. So uh, the price change is going to be 200 into 0.5, which is going to be 100 points. From 150, it will be moving to, from 150, it will be moving to 250. 150, it will be moving to 250. Okay, so now in this case, let me know. Okay, superb. So many, many have calculated it correctly. Superb, superb, superb. Okay, so hence it is an in-the-money option. We have the delta is more than 0 0.5, which is right now we have 0 0.6. And the underlying movement is 200 points. The underlying movement is 200 points. On that aspect, the delta into the underlying movement. Okay, so delta is 0 0.6 and into 200 is going to be 120. On this aspect, the already we have 200 premium. So from 200 plus 120 is going to be 320. It's going to be 320. Super. Now you guys calculate it for an OTM option. Now you guys calculate it for one OTM option. You have bought an OTM, which is a premium of 100 rupees. The market would have moved, the market would have moved 200 points, but still you would have gained only 20 points. Even despite of market moving 200 points, you will be profitable with only, you'll be profitable with only how much? You're going to be profitable with only 20 points. And many times you would have been shocked. After you see a very good rally in Bank Nifty, the call options, what you bought, would have never given you good result. And sometimes it would have been in loss also. The loss, even the loss would have not been recovered. And it is all because of this particular delta. So while you're going into a trade setup, you need to understand very clearly. So which strike price you need to select? Okay, so based upon this delta only, you'll get you get you get a better understanding. So if you're going to target for 200, uh, like 100 points of premium, 
then if you are selecting an OTM, it is not going to happen. Right? It's not going to happen. Okay. So now, why uh, when the market comes down, why the call option premium decreases? Okay. So before we see the result, before we see the answer, now you guys let me know why, because now you would understand. Okay. Because market goes up, call option premium increases because it's the positive into positive, it gives a positive result. Okay. So now, here we have a positive de positive uh, delta uh, for call option, right? Positive delta. But on the other hand, we have the negative movement in the market. We have the negative movement in the market. Okay. So now what makes the call option premium to decrease? How market comes down? Call option premium is also coming down. Okay. So now you guys type me the answer. What should be the reason? What should be the reason? Delta, super. See, the market movement is negative. The delta is positive. Delta, negative, I mean, uh, minus into plus. Minus into plus is going to give you a negative result. Okay. So, that's the answer. Okay, now you can see here, the underlying has decreased by 100 points. Minus 100 points. Decrease in the sense, we give this minus 100 points. Delta is 0. 0.5. Now, delta, we have plus, plus 0.5 into negative 100. Now it clearly gives you negative 50 points. It gives you negative 50 points. So the premium what you had is 150. Okay, it has lost 50 points. It has lost 50 points. Now it will come back to, now it will come back to 50. Okay, so now you guys calculate me, calculate for this 0.75. Okay, 0.75 into 100 by minus 100 gives you negative 75 points so already you had 250 points if it does if it just get uh, reduced by 70 points it would have come to one how much it will come 175 it will come to 175 okay now you guys calculate it for me now you guys calculate it for me Okay, the value is you can see it very clear. Super, super. So it's a 0. 0.5 delta. Okay, it's a 0. 0.5 delta and plus into minus 200 points, which means the 100 points has vanished. So now the answer will be from 150, this will come to only 50 points, only 50 points. Okay, that's fine. So now let me understand the real interesting thing. When the market comes down, how the put option premium increases? It's a simple math. What is that math? Come on guys, type it in the chat box. If the market comes down, how the put option premium increases? What is the math behind it? It's very simple. Minus into minus, plus. It's minus into minus is going to be plus. That's it. Very simple. Plus into plus is equal to plus. Plus into minus is equal to minus. Minus into plus is equal to minus. Minus into minus is equal to plus. Minus into minus is equal to plus. And that's what. So minus 0.5, the underlying mood negative 100. So now minus into minus is going to be plus. 0.5 into 100 is going to be 50 points of movement. It's going to be 50 points of movement. Okay, now you guys answer me. So ATM is having 0.5 delta, negative 0.5 delta. The underlying has came down 100 points. Okay, the underlying has came down 100 points. So already we have 150 premium. What will be the close? What will be the close? The close is going to be 200. It's going to be 200. Okay, now you guys understand the impact of delta. See, if you are selecting a strike price whose delta is only 0.1, even the market moves 200 points, you are going to be gifted with only 20 points. Okay, so in order to select the strike, delta gives you a very, very big role. Okay, delta places a very, very big role. Okay, and now, 
and uh, like it's very simple uh, as the market goes up how the put option decreases because the market goes up is a positive concern and put option delta will be negative so minus into plus sorry um, plus into minus or minus into plus is going to be a negative result and that is why the put option premium decreases that is why the put option premium decreases nice okay now let me just go to gamma okay see you guys now would have understand very well about delta okay so how many of you did not understand okay now let me just take it on the positive note how many of you understand delta very clearly how many of you understand delta very clearly yes 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 good 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 thank you thank you thank you so much okay so now let me just move to gamma okay see gamma is something very important because as i said earlier delta governs the option premium okay then who governs the delta gamma governs the delta okay gamma governs the delta okay so it's uh, even though you are king okay but who sits on your top okay maybe in your home okay in your home you may be the uh, the family king but who governs you even though you are a king who governs you it's your wife right so wife or your girlfriend will govern you even though you are a king even though you are a prince nothing to worry okay your wife will literally govern you on that aspect let it be delta delta can govern all the option premium but who governs delta okay gamma is the one who governs everything okay gamma is the one who governs the delta okay so on this note you can, from this chart you can understand one thing uh, how many of like okay, now we have this dte okay days to expiry on this aspect on the expiry day the dte will be zero on the expiry day dte days to expiry will be zero on the uh, like okay let's just keep it as bank nifty as example bank nifty expiry is on thursday bank nifty expiry is on thursday on that aspect the dte on thursday will be totally zero and on wednesday what will be the dte how many days are there to expiry how many days are there to expiry it's one day so on wednesday the expiry the dte is one so what about tuesday what is the dte the tuesday the dte is 2 and uh, monday the dte is 3 the monday the dte is 3 it's very simple right it's very simple okay so as the date as the dte is very near as the dte is very near we have very fast shifting very very fast shifting of option premium and you can see it on thursday the two post one o'clock from one rupee, the premium will go to 200 and 200 to zero. Okay. In Thursday, you can see it very clear. From one rupee, it goes to 200. From 200, it comes to zero. It's all because of gamma. It's all because of gamma. Because in gamma, changes very fast at, near, at very near to expiry. And that's what it shows. Four days to expiry will have such a peak gamma. The gamma will be very, very high. Okay, so no need to worry. Next slide, I will explain it clearly. Okay, and now we can see here on 11 days to expiry, it is quite smooth. 20, 18 days to expiry, it is more smooth. And 25 days to expiry, it is almost ultra smooth. It is going to be ultra smooth. There will be no much big variations which is going to happen. Okay, now we put it in a very simple part. This is a 100cc bike. This is 200 cc bike, this is a 300, this is a 500, and this is 1000 cc bike. Which bike moves fast? Come on, guys, everyone type this, type your answers. Which bike moves very fast? Obviously, your answer is going to be 1000 cc bike. It's going to be the 1000 cc bike. Okay, now, which bike travels long distance in same time? Okay, I have given only two minutes' time. Okay, dip. <laughs> Depends on the person who drives. Okay, let me let me just keep it myself. I'll be a person who who throttles it till the end. Okay, so I'm the person who drives it. I will throttle it till the end. Now, uh, which bike travels long distance at the same time? Whether it's hundred cc or two hundred cc or three hundred or five hundred or thousand. 
okay it's going to be the 1000 cc bike once again okay it's going to be 1000 cc bike once again okay like that like that gamma gamma is very 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 fast so that it's like 1000 cc bike it's very fast near to expiry it's very fast near to expiry as the days to expiry are too high it will be quite slow okay so it will be, it just keeps on decreasing as it moves as it moves uh, long in the day to expiry okay so no need to worry still you're not understood don't worry i will make it more simple okay so now from here to here the market literally travel the market literally travel from here to here on this aspect uh, like we just take different expiry 13th april expiry 21 april expiry 28th april expiry 26th may expiry okay we have taken different expiries and we just made the open price and high price over here okay so in between this gap in between this gap 1115 to 213 the price has moved from 451 to 692 692 and for 21 april from 700 to 944 and 28 april 886 to 1140 and on 26th may it is 1205 to 1650 now you guys let me know now you guys let me know which has made the highest movement for this from here to here which has made the highest point gain which has made the highest point gain whether it is 13th April expiry or 21 April expiry or 28th April expiry or 26th April expiry, which one has made a big gain? Come on, guys, type your answers. Okay, it is 28th April. Okay, so I got first answer. What about others? Come on, guys. Now the answers are totally different. Now the answers are totally different. I get too many different, different answers. One says 13th April. One says it is 28th April. Okay, 28th April. Okay, now let me just... Okay, so Vasantra has got the exact point. Superb, superb. Now we can see here. Even though the 241 points of gain is there. Okay, so 241 points of gain is there. Okay, here we have 250 points of gain. But still... On the percentage calculation, on the percentage calculation, it has moved 53 percentage. From 451, it has gained 53 percentage. And whereas in 700 premium, it has gained 300, it's, it has gained 34 percentage and 28 percentage and 15 percentage. It's not about the point gained. It's not about the point gained. It's all about the percentage it has gained. So which clearly denotes that the very near to expiry, the premium moves very fast. Why the premium moves very fast? Because gamma changes very fast near to expiry. Okay. As we go deep, uh, like deep DT, okay, the days of day to expiry is quite big. Okay. So from on 13th April to 26th May, we have a very big expiry duration, right? So on this aspect, it has moved only 15 percentage. It has moved only 15 percentage. Okay, so now the 1000 cc bike is the second March, which is the which is the uh, uh, seven days to expiry. Here it is 9th March. You give it as 14, uh, four, like uh, 14 days to expiry, 21 days to expiry, and then 35 days to expiry. Okay, now you guys understand it, right? So very near to expiry, the option premium will act like a 1000 cc bike. Very far. Uh, DT is where it will be like the very old bike with 100 cc it moves very slow okay that's fine now now you guys would understand it very very uh, easily about the gamma now what is this what is this what is this Okay, it's a moon movement, moon, moon theta decay. Okay, ex exactly. See here, this is a this is a moon eclipse. Okay, so now you can see here, twenty days to expire. The DTE is twenty days. This is this much big extrinsic value will be there. 
this much big extrinsic value will be there. And 16 days to expiry, this much big extrinsic value will be there. And 12 days to expiry, this much of extrinsic value there. 8 days of expiry, this much. 4 days, this much. At expiry, on morning, we will have this much. At evening, it will become a, it will be cut up, done. Okay, so it will be, a, a, what we call it as, a, not, not a full moon day. It's a black moon day. Okay, what moon day? I literally forget. <laughs> During the school time, I used to, what we call it as, it's eclipse. Yeah, it's eclipse. Or new moon day. What day it is exactly? Even I, I forgot what day it is. New moon day. Okay, so it's a new moon day. Okay, good. So I literally forgot. Okay, so uh, 20 days to expiry, it's like a full moon day. Where we have full full extrinsic value, full theta decay, will, like full premium will be there. Okay, yeah, we call it a Samava sign, right? Okay, so 20 days to expiry, 19 days to expiry. So this is how, as the day decreases, as the day comes near to expiry, the option extrinsic value becomes, it, 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 it erodes, it erodes, it erodes, erodes, erodes. And finally, at expiry, it will become zero. And finally, it will become zero. Out of this, the option buyers are getting profit or option sellers are getting profit. Who is getting profit out of it? Whether it's option buyers or it's the option sellers who are getting profit out of it. Obviously, it's the option sellers who get profit out of it. Okay. So now, we'll, now we will understand further in detail. See, at this point and at this point, okay, the market is trading at the same point at different date. Okay, the market is trading at same point at different date. Now, let me just took, take, uh, we have just taken the value for your reference. And now it says that on March expiry, second March expiry, we have 427 premium and 388 premium over here. Okay, this is 22 February at 9.15 a.m. The market was trading over here. And on 24th February, 10.5, the market is trading at the same point as this date. Okay. Now we will look into the premium. See, on the 22nd February, at same point, the premium was 427. At 24th February, the premium is trading at 388. So there is something which has been eroded, right? And you can see here 883 to 813, 818. 1,318 to 1,343. So, which clearly says that there was a 39 points of decay over here, 65 points of decay over here, and 37 points of decay over here. On the percentage calculation, it is 9 percentage on the March expiry. It is uh, second March expiry and 7.4 percentage on the 30th March expiry and 27th March uh, April expiry it is 2.69 percentage. So this clearly denotes that, this clearly denotes that the theta decay is very high in the near premiums. The theta decay is very high in near premiums. Okay, good. Now we have the implied volatility. Okay, so now you guys will understand more about this theta. The theta is one of the variable which keeps on eroding. Okay, it, it, it is under the extensive value. It keeps on eroding. Okay. Now, let me just understand about the implied volatility. Okay. See, as we know, the premium will consist of intrinsic value and extrinsic value. Now, we have seen about the time value, which is the theta. And for, for on the extrinsic value, because extrinsic value have two parts. The time value, which is what we have seen right now as theta. And the next one is the implied volatility. The next one is the implied volatility. And what do you mean by implied volatility? What do you mean by implied volatility? Okay, the implied volatility is nothing but, the implied volatility is nothing but, uh, all of a sudden, premium increases. All of a sudden, premium decreases. We don't know, like, nothing would have happened in the market. To be honest, nothing would have happened. But all of a sudden, the premium will increase. Nothing would have happened, all of a sudden, the premium will decrease. Okay, it's all because of this one, one boy, which is known as intrinsic value. He is the worst ever boy. He is the worst ever boy. He can make things totally uh, upside down. All of a sudden, the strategy will go to profit. All of a sudden, the strategy will go to negative. But there won't be any movement in the market. 
Okay, so now I'm going to explain it in quite different way. So this is a balloon. Okay, the premium can be inflated as well as deflated. Okay, all of a sudden, all of a sudden the premium will inflate and all of a sudden the premium will deflate. How these things are happening? Okay, so now whenever the IV gets, the implied volatility decreases, the decreases, the option premium will decrease. Option premium will decrease. If the premium, if the IV is increasing or if the higher IV we have, higher IV we have, on that time, what happened? The option premiums will be inflated. Okay, can you mention one day in the recent time? Okay, okay, let me just put it in this way. Can you mention any one day on February of every year, February, there will be one day where we have extreme premium. And this time, I'm very sure we had 800 premium. We had 800 premium at ATM. On call side 800, put side we had 800. Exactly, it's a budget day. It's a budget day. See, like on budget day, what, what makes the premium to inflate? What makes the premium to inflate? Everyone will be panic. Okay, if someone is panic, the option premium will increase. Okay, when the option, when we will be panic in the market, whenever there is news which is coming out. Okay, so we have this RBA meet. During RBA meet, the option premium will inflate. And what are the other events which where people will become panic? Budget day. In COVID, exactly in COVID, everyone become panic. Fed meet, exactly. War, if war happens. If India, if, if there is anything like uh, during nine, 2019, I think so. 18, 18 or 19. So, uh, like we know, like our commander uh, Abhinandan has uh, crossed the LOC line. Okay, so during that time, obviously, uh, the premium inflated too high because there was a war scenario between India and Pakistan. So that inflated the premium. Whenever there is uncertainty, the, the premium will increase all of a sudden. Okay, so when the premium will decrease? After the event is done. After the event is done. After the event is done. Okay, so now let, let me just put it the other way. See, before election, Okay, before election, we will have the campaign, right? So there will be a very different scenario. Like we'll, there will be many people, like everyone will be panicked, like who is going to be the next uh, prime minister? Okay, like that. So after we, we get the result, right? After we know the result, will we, will, will we do campaign? No, right? We don't do campaigns. Okay, so like that, uh, whenever the event is done, there won't be anything panic. Okay, if the, if the if event is done, uh, once the election results are out or once the RBI uh, monetary policy uh, are out, okay, once the Fed meeting is done, okay, so once you know this is not going to have an impact, then everything will become normal. So option premium will be deflated and it will become normal. It will become normal. Okay, so it's 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 very simple. It's, it's, it's like very simple. When an IV will increase, when an, IP, when an IV increases, what happens to the option premium? What happens to the option premium? When there, all of a sudden some uh, bad news comes in, the option premium increases. Okay. When an IV decreases, what happens to the option premium? After the election results, okay, or after the monetary policy, obviously the option premium will decrease. Obviously the option premium will decrease. Okay. So pre-event, pre-event. Before the event, IV will increase. Option premium will increase. Post-event, the premium will decrease. Post-event, the premium will decrease. Okay. So till now, you guys understand very clear about what are the things. You guys understand uh, way, all the way I need to go to the slide number one. Okay. So did you guys understand about contract, premium reactions? Moneyness, where we discussed about ATM, OTM in the month. On premium, we spoke about intrinsic value, extrinsic value. Greeks, we spoke about delta, gamma, theta, and implied volatility. Okay. So all these things we have covered literally. Okay. So now I want you guys to rate me for out of 10. So now how many of you are going to give me? Oh, what numbers? Let me just check it. Okay, so now, till now, I got, I don't got any 9. Okay, 9, 9.5. 
10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 10 good 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 thank you thank you thank you so much thank you so much See, like I, I try to make this session more interactive okay so um, you are the best i got in my life thank you thank you so much okay so now let me just move on towards the single leg strategies okay so here we go like we have uh, we have this option matrix okay so buy against call buy against put sell against call sell against put okay so once you buy a call option you have a view that market needs to travel in the uptrend okay and uh, when you buy a put option we call it as long put on this case the market is going to be on the downtrend okay and we have the sell whenever you sell a call option how how you make a profit whenever the market comes down you make profit whenever you sell a put option market needs to go up in order to make profitability okay this is so this chart is known as the payoff diagram this chart is known as the payoff diagram okay so uh, like don't worry like in the upcoming sessions we'll teach a lot about how to configure the payoff diagram and those things like how to understand more about the pop probability of profit how to calculate the break even so many things are need to be addressed okay so no need to worry so i'm going to teach you everything okay so uh, like uh, if you if you're following some systems right so uh, like i have a specific no term known as demand and supply i follow most of the time demand and supply so demand and supply on demand we used to uh, take long positions okay on uh, supply we always take the we always take the, the like uh, a bearish sort of uh, trade setups okay so now uh, this is a reversal sell zone which is a which is a a, a bearish setup which is a bearish setup so now you guys let me know which which one i need to take whether it's going to be long call or long put or short call or a short put which one i'm going to do it whether it's going to be long call or a long put or a short call or a short put okay so it's going to be on a downtrend we'll take the long put as well as we will take the short call long put as well as the short call okay now in an in a bullish view market in a bullish view market what you will take whether you take a long call or long put or a short call or a short put in uptrend it's going to be a, a long call and a short put it's going to be a long call and a short put okay that's fine mm -hmm. just give me a moment Okay. <clears throat> because I skipped a few slides. Okay, I'll go back to those slides. Because we have something known as option um, option framework okay i'll teach the framework first and then i move on okay so basic components like okay, the basic components are like long call long put short call short put okay so these are the basic building bricks okay building bricks of an op, uh, of an option strategies okay so strategies we have like two different strategies one is a di directional strategy where we know the direction okay then we have the non-directional strategies where we, we, we don't know like where the market moves whether it's going to be an uptrend or downtrend you don't know anything okay on this aspect you will take the non-directional strategy you will take a non-directional strategy okay so uh, next we have spreads we uh, we call it as credit spread and we have a debit spread okay so credit spread is where we receive premium where we receive premium and in debit spread we will be paying a premium okay no need to worry okay don't think it is more complicated okay so this is a this is a scratch of the basic components okay so hereafter like in the in the upcoming uh, because this video will be ending in next 5 minutes because we have been like two hours so uh, this part will be taken on the uh, next session okay and the uh, the link will be posted in a quantum and telegram page okay because this this will take another two hours for me to explain uh, all the strategies like we have 20 strategies so in order to explain all the 20 strategies how to do that and how to become profitable on those aspects it will take me another two hours to to complete it so that we will just take the 
yeah like the session is recorded this the session is recorded and it will be the session will be posted in the youtube channel okay so i'm just sending the link of the youtube channel as well to everyone okay so you can find it there okay telegram i'm just i'm just forwarding you the telegram just give me a moment just give me a moment where is continent Yeah, I'm just sending the Telegram link as well. Okay, I think so. You got the Telegram link. Everyone would have got the Telegram link. Okay, that's fine. So uh, and then and then we speak more about the single leg strategies, like uh, how to create a single leg strategy. Okay, so uh, and how to create a double leg strategy. So double leg strategy where we speak more about the ratio spreads and we speak about the long straddle, short straddle, long strangle, and short strangles. Okay, and then we speak a lot about the four leg strategies like iron condor and inverted iron condor. And apart from that, like we do have some other strategies, uh, other four strategies are there. So we'll be discussing all those strategies in the next uh, session. So on that session, like we'll be discussing um, at, like too many concerns related to uh, uh, all this iron condor, iron butterflies, inverted iron condor. Uh, and then we have this uh, covered the call and then um, like many strategies will be like it's we have almost like 20 on the back on the bucket list okay so we'll be discussing about all the strategies so it will be another two hour session so you'll find the link of the next video on the telegram uh, on the telegram page of quantman so that you, can, you guys can join the next session and uh, get more benefit out of it because see like uh, when it comes to options trading right so there are too much of knowledge is required once you are once you are very strong with the base then only you can take it to the next level. If you're not strong with the base, it's not going to help you at any point of time. Okay, so try to learn the basics. Okay, it's not only about options trading. Whatever you do, try to learn the basics. After that, you do it to the next level. Yeah, yeah, so you'll be getting 100 free Baptist credits. Okay, so you can just contact the support team uh, in order to get the same. Yeah, the presentations will be there. The presentation, the PPT will be there. Okay, so um, like you can just get it in the Telegram page itself. Okay, so I'll be sharing it with the content team. The content team will be posting it to everyone. Okay, so no need to worry about it. Okay, guys, uh, thank you. Thank you all. Uh, link to be shared on WhatsApp also. Yeah, yeah, like you'll be, uh, you'll be getting it. But uh, please take a note, like... Um, uh, you'll be you'll be getting this uh, presentations as well as uh, the 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 session the session will be recorded. This is, the session is recorded and it will be uh, I'll be uploading the same. Okay, maybe the session is recorded. Yeah, I think so. It's recorded. Okay, so uh, the same will be uh, posted in the YouTube channel which I've shared. Okay, yeah, I'll share the YouTube channel once again with everyone. Okay, this is the YouTube link. Okay, so if you want to watch the early video access also, you can just see the early videos which are uploaded. Okay, thank you. Thank you all for joining this session. So another 20, another two hearts of session is there. So uh, I, I want each and everyone to join the next session and make use of it. Okay, so it will be on Tuesday or Wednesday. I'm not sure like on what day I'm planning for the session. So uh, based upon my availability, I will do it. I try to do it on Wednesday. Okay, so uh, because every Wednesday we used to conduct sessions, but unfortunately, last week, uh, like uh, yesterday, I had few work so that I postponed it to Thursday. In general, we have it on Wednesday. Okay, and please don't forget to join the Saturday session. So Saturday session is something very, very important where we speak a lot about options trading uh, on quantitative aspects. Uh, like we'll be speaking about option buying strategies, option selling strategies, and we speak a lot about the portfolio creations for your for your portfolio. How much strategies you should need to take it on call on uh, on buying, and how much you need to take it on put on, on selling side. So you need to divide your strategy uh, money into different parts in order to undergo like uh, to reduce your drawdown durations. And we uh, like, so like it's not something like we we just like that give you a software and then move on. Okay, it's all about you guys are going to understand the uh, the the quant man in a very 
uh, very deep way. And then uh, once you understand it in a deep way, then only you can make money out of quant man. Okay. So we help you to understand the option basics as well. We teach you how to create option buying strategy, selling strategies, and how to create portfolio. And all you need to do is join the session and get the knowledge. And then you go, you guys are literally going to rock it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you all for joining the session. We'll meet you on next week. Uh, it's it's always a pleasure for me to meet many uh, new youngsters uh, or new novice people entering into market. I'm really happy in training you guys. Okay, so uh, thank you, thank you all. Thanks for giving me this opportunity to teach you, and please join the next session. Thank you all. Bye bye.